So um, as I was uh, saying, I was uh, I'm, I'm working in uh, in, in uh, ABAP for the last uh, three years, and uh, I wanted to thank you guys for hosting this event. Um, I would like to dedicate this session to all the newcomers in ABAP, as I was uh, three years before. Um, I know you are uh, uh, you are facing struggles in understanding the, the concept. Um, there's a, a lot of hype in other languages. And, um, you know, in, in the real world, uh, there are systems which are old and uh, need support. So you might uh, have come across with some old code. Uh, but I want to tell you that everyone has been in your position. Just uh, uh, persist and uh, try to learn anything you can, even from the old code. Uh, if you ask many senior programmers, they will tell you that uh, it helped them to read the old code because uh, they came to an understanding of uh, why the technology they use is, it is, is what it is. Um, so when I entered the SAP development world almost three years ago, even though I had several years of programming experience, I myself had doubts about the language. I had to admit that, and this is why I'm, um, I want to, to, to share this with you, because I have come to, to love the language, uh, which is ABAP. So um, when I entered um, SAP development, uh, uh, I, I was, uh, it was and it still is my subject of work, so I wanted to be efficient. So I did my research and uh, found out that uh, even classic ABAP is still in demand and uh, will be for many years until the transition to ABAP Cloud is complete. Um, as you can see, uh, SAP developers choose, choose mostly ABAP for their uh, projects. And uh, not only the developers choose ABAP because uh, the demand for them, for the ABAPers, is huge. Uh, this is why uh, our person unemployment rates are uh, very low. And um, SAP, of course, cannot simply abandon all solutions and uh, existing customers. So even the currently oldest offering, which is ECC, will be broadly available until 2027. And of course, in, uh, in SAP, they plan for the future. So they have hired more than a few new ABAPers to be trained and um, take part in the redesign of the, of the language. Um, other than that, uh, ABAP has a great community, of course, uh, as you can experience in this event. Um, this, this conference is a fine example of it. Uh, you will find plenty of solutions and resources in uh, SAP forums, uh, blogs, and uh, knowledge-based articles, and um, more than often in independent blogs, where even SAP sometimes, uh, more, than in, more than often, uh, relies for answers. Uh, finally, SAP itself uh, wouldn't leave its uh, flagship all by itself. An example of uh, sub-dedication to the language and the community behind it is the commitment of three developer advocates who are, who are focused in ABAP. Uh, Rich Heilman and uh, Thomas Young have uh, a lot of history with the language, uh, while Mamiki Kane focuses mostly on new features and uh, emerging developers, so they strongly support uh, our language. Um, okay. Enough uh, with uh, the theory and the introduction. Uh, let's dive into some uh, uh, ABAP features that uh, I have found interesting in my course. Um, ABAP has great features, and uh, once you decide to get uh, seriously involved, you can be creative and enjoy your work like many of us do. Um, okay, so uh, one of the first uh, features that caught my attention was uh, constructor expressions. Um, uh, with which you can uh, create, uh, you can be uh, very creative in uh, um, handling uh, handling data and, uh, and structures. Um, other than that, uh, uh, I have um, enjoyed working with uh, dynamic uh, type and RTTS um, runtime uh, types and services. So uh, these are the main features that caught my my attention and. Um, get me seriously got me seriously involved in ABAP and um, made, made me want to, to, to build even more and create even more and um, I have uh, built some you know general utilities or uh, uh, or, or some tools for uh, for me to use in everyday in everyday coding life so let's um, let me 
the guys advised me to do this beforehand, but I forgot it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I believe that this is better now. Okay. So. <clears throat> Um, we can see some um, uh, we can see the use of uh, some constructors. We will see this, the use of some constructors here in uh, in this program. Um, especially the reduce constructor is a, a very useful and very handy one. I will present to you some uh, functionalities that I have uh, come to to know with uh, with this constructor, but uh, of course uh, all this as in as, as many things in uh, in ABAP, can be done in other ways, maybe more efficient. I just wanted to, to showcase the power of, uh, of the constructor. Um, you can use the reduce constructor to, to find uh, maximum values, uh, even if it is uh, an integer or uh, a packed number or even a date. Um, you have to be careful uh, on how you do it. Um, most times, uh, uh, we use the, uh, the reduce constructor to 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 construct to 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 add, to add something, even if it is a calculation or even if it is um, uh, a string. But you can also use it to compare and uh, hold in the iterate in the iteration variable the the last uh, comparison value, which uh, meets our our, our uh, our criteria. Uh, so in this in this case, I have created um, a table with uh, orders, uh, customer orders. So it has uh, some uh, some values uh, with uh, string strings and uh, integers, pack numbers, etc. Here we can see how uh, the uh, max values are uh, are uh, defined and are uh, calculated. Uh, the same goes with uh, minimum values, of course. We will see it in a minute in uh, in the debugger. Uh, you can find minimum quantity, which is uh, integer, minimum price, uh, earliest date, and. Uh, And another thing that I wanted to show you, and it's very interesting, you can um, uh, uh, find um, you can define uh, booleans uh, with uh, with the reduce. You can um, uh, compare or uh, search even a table for uh, for some value. Let's say that we wanted to to, to search for um, a specific name. Uh, we could iterate the table with the reduce instead of uh, looking for it within a loop. And um, uh, come to know here. Um, here we wanted to know if all the um, if all the lines uh, in the table have uh, company code. Uh, this is the specific company code, and uh, this is one way to do it. Uh, so in every iteration, it checks if the um, if if company code is this is this specific one, and uh, it uh, keeps with uh, the help of XSD bool function um, the last uh, the last value of of the boolean. Uh, other than that, of course, you will know the reduce uh, can help you to to calculate uh, totals um, with uh, prices or um, uh, you know packed numbers or uh, integers. This is something common. I just uh, added this. As a reference, um, string manipulations. Other than that, uh, you can um, um, add the strings and uh, uh, con construct spe especially strings uh, based on some criteria we would like. And here, I would uh, uh, gather up all the names that uh, have uh, due uh, that their uh, order is due. And of course, um, the most interesting is the combination of uh, of the reduce usages. 
um, where you can uh, construct um, a specific uh, when you can gather specific data with uh, the, the string and calculation for example um, you will do that with the help of uh, for groups for groups of and uh, you will group by you will calculate uh, within the group by and uh, then after the calculation you present you you gather all the data in in a string um, in um, Another another combination is uh, boolean and uh, calculation all together, and um, where in again we we use the for groups um, to for groups and to group by to um, find uh, the, the the values that we want and uh, compare them later on with uh, with the use of the boolean like we did in this in the in the simpler example here. Um, above so um, let's check with the debugger the um, the values for the for the reduce operator um, so we will see that uh, it, it finds out that the minimum quantity from all orders are, is, is one in our table. And uh, of course it is. Um, or the max quantity is the same principle, uh, the latest date in the table. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not iterating in in each one of these, but uh, you will have a chance to uh, to to get to to check it because I will I'm gonna share every everything every line of code that I'm uh, presenting. Um, here it has it has found that uh, all all uh, orders are for company code for this specific company code, and. Um, other than that, they, they, it has um, calculated the total orders or the total items and the total sales. Um, it has constructed our uh, overdue clients in, in a single string. For, uh, for a string and calculation altogether, um, it has uh, found out that each client uh, has uh, this amount. For example, for this client, this, this is the amount uh, for, for all of his uh, orders and he has constructed a, um, a string that uh, showcases all the clients together. So this was about the reduce uh, operator. Uh, let's go to, to the value. Uh, most of you will have already seen uh, the, the value operator in action. I wanted to share um, some more complex uh, examples from the value operator, where uh, we group uh, our orders uh, per client here. And um, I'm sorry. And uh, then, uh, uh, with the help of the reduce uh, operator, which is used in inside the uh, in, in 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 a local scope uh, variable, in two local scope variables actually, and um, it calculates uh, price and quantity per client, and then uh, all the other data for for the client is uh, is the same actually. So we, what we want to do here is to reduce uh, the lines of the of our table in uh, unique uh, client uh, in unique client lines where uh, we will have gathered uh, all the price and all the quantity that they have ordered. 
Um, a simple one, but uh, I find it very handy once I, I get to know with it. Uh, a simple one feature is that uh, you can avoid the line not found exception with uh, optional uh, parameter within, within uh, the value uh, of, uh, constructor. So other, uh, although this order number does not exist, it will not uh, throw an exception, just the, our, um, our uh, structures will be our uh, variable. This, this should be like this. Our variable would be um, empty, just be null or zero. You can iterate in, um, in, 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 within, the, within the operator, uh, within the value operator, you can iterate not only with um, internal tables or, um, um, uh, you know, or with um, integers, you can iterate with dates as well. And uh, you can um, uh, gather uh, all the dates that, uh, for, for this specific example, I have gathered all the dates between the first and the last, uh, um, order and uh, you can uh, advance with with the iterations uh, by adding just months with this uh, tool um, another concept that i wanted to to share with you is um the, the use of um, of abap commands and uh, features within constructors with the help of functional methods um this help this has helped me a lot to reduce my my code and um, uh, advance with the constructor uh, concept so in this particular case i use uh, if you want i don't know why why you won't do that but if you wanted uh, the names of the clients uh, without uh, spaces of course it is not useful but uh, uh, you could do that for any other string um, you can construct uh, a new table with the value operator and um, with the use of uh, a functional uh, method. Let, let me open it. It is very simple. It just does, it does uh, this, uh, the, it, it, does, it just condenses the, the string with a well-known uh, ABAP statement, but uh, it does it in, in a method scope. So, you can use it in the constructor within the constructor. Otherwise, you had to, uh, in order to use it, you will have to loop and uh, do this within the loop. So um, basically, this is the this uh, table will be the same with uh, the original one, uh, with the, with the only difference that the names will not have uh, spaces in between. Um, another use of functional methods is uh, when, we, when you want to use um, um, uh, dynamic types, for etc. cetera. Um, normally, we, if we want to iterate within the, within the uh, value operator, value uh, constructor, I'm sorry. Uh, if you want to iterate um, in a, a through one um, structure, uh, you couldn't do it. You, you should um, use a loop and um, field symbols logic and etc. So you would, you would do it with um, with the use of uh, uh, with this class and the get components method. But if you um, uh, I have constructed this uh, this uh, this simple functional method, which um, of course it uses uh the aforementioned uh, class uh, in order to iterate and store in a table all the um, all the data from the structure uh, in, a, in, a, in a field in a, in a field value uh, format uh, so this way, we can have access both in the value of the of the structure and the name of the of the field. Uh, for for example, here I have created um, an uh, imaginary input from the from a user. Uh, well, of course, we don't know what the input is, 
and um, and we want to to exclude all the clients that uh, have uh, these specific uh, attributes uh, when the name is this or this one or the order number is this uh, or um, or whether it is a new client and um, we, we couldn't we couldn't do that um, within the uh, value uh, structure within the value uh, con constructor uh, with our normal uh, abap uh, utilities and functionalities. So uh, this was about uh, the constructors. Uh, other than that, I would like to show you some, um, some other tools. Um, let me find the... Um, I have uh, I have come to know that um, if you want to to build uh, the to build uh, dynamic uh, components and dynamic structures, uh, you will have to do many things, uh, you know, iteratively again and again and again. So I've created my own tools for uh, handling um, for specific uh, dynamic uh, typing operations such as to remove uh, specific fields um, to, to remove uh, the, the, the tool accepts any um, any source for if, whether it is a, a table or it is um, a, a structure or or even if it is a, a a, a database, uh, uh, you know, um, a dictionary structure. So it uh, gets the structure from the source, and um, other than that, it uh, uh, removes all the fields given, or if uh, there is a specific uh, um, keyword like a packed or non packed, it uh, removes all the amounts or non amount fields. And uh, you can you can use it to create um, dynamic uh, structures. And the same goes with um, it's it's mostly the same. It goes it is uh, to to add, to add fields if you want to, for a given structure dynamic of course one uh, you define some fields you want to add. And, uh, and the type of them, it defaults to, to string if you don't define the type. Uh, and this one has uh, helped me create um, some, um, uh, some programs in, within the ABAP scope and uh, handle the dynamic uh, components of them. So, um, I, oh, sorry. Yes. I want to show you another uh, tool from um, because I, which I borrowed as a concept from another language. It's uh, from uh, PHP. Uh, I used to use uh, PHP in the past. Uh, I used to program in PHP. So, uh, PHP has. Um, a lot of uh, string manipulating uh, functions, and um, they have uh, one that uh, uh, they have a set of functions which, co which is called uh, implode and explode. Which, uh, if you have guessed it, uh, they take a, a string as a parameter and they break it into a given uh, into into a given uh, delimiter. So I have created a similar. Uh, um, method in uh, in ABAP, which is uh, which, which takes the string as a parameter and creates a range, and um, it has helped me in in uh, my 
development process in order to iterate through known uh, strings or known field names. Um, let's see an example here. <clears throat> Maybe I have created two two methods: one converts it to range, and not another to table. And of course, the the backwards compatibility from uh, the backwards functionality from uh, range and from table it takes the uh, the range and the constructs a string. So let me check that. So here in this uh, specific uh, example, I wanted um, I have created um, uh, some of the code is missing. I have created uh, some um, uh, base uh, structures, some base types, which I wanted to combine later on in order to create more, more complex uh, types. And um, these were fixed. The, this would be normally uh, declared here. Um, and so I wanted to iterate uh, through the uh, static through the static parts, and uh, this would be the, the way to do it. So um, create a um, looping um, immediately to the result of the functional method, and then uh, using in the loop uh, each uh, one of these uh, strings. Um, uh, you will notice that uh, I'm using it in the, within the loop uh, scope because um, yeah, we can do that because uh, it cannot uh, it, it cons uh, the, um, uh, in the runtime it will be constructed once and then it will uh, loop each and every time. Um, it, it's not the same with the range, uh, which I uh, which I use uh, mo mostly for uh, loops. Uh, if I say uh, loop at uh, something where in, uh, in in the in the range i can you cannot use it there because um it will construct and will go every time in every loop in the method so you would want to define the range before the loop and uh, and then go on from there so these are some uh, some tools that i have uh, built in um, in uh, within the above scope uh, uh, there are many more. You will find them in the um, uh, in the code that I will share with you. Um, I would just like to make a, a couple of references. Um, I have created this tool, uh, which um, formats, which um, basically handles the, um, uh, the the formatting from input or output uh, data. To, to one another and uh, you know it uh, re replaces uh, amounts or uh, converts them to ABAP format or dates or uh, even uh, dictionary types and um, I have used it to to create the tables uh, the tables map tool which um, basically what it does it is to um, convert a, a, a whole table of uh, data uh, into a inner or out uh, formats. Uh, another tool that I want to share with you is um, a file, an Excel file handling one. Um, I wanted um, for a for a project. I wanted to uh, mark uh, an Excel file with some data. So I so I know that uh, this Excel was downloaded from this uh, from the specific program, but I didn't want uh, the user to to see or to 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 have the ability to change this data. So um, uh, it can be done for a specific uh, Excel format. Um, you can 
uh, go inside the XML of the within the above scope. You can go inside the XML of the um, Excel file and um, tweak your uh, properties there and add some uh, some values that uh, you would like to to know if the the file is uploaded again and you will know that this file was uh, uploaded was created by your program um like an id or uh, or something else so um this was the, these were the features that um i liked most uh in abap so it made me be interested more in the in the language but but uh, as you know uh, abap is uh, evolving it is not uh, just uh, um uh, just in the in the ABAP scope anymore, uh, we have the MDP and CDS and um, uh, code, code push down. So naturally, as, a de as developers, we want to evolve with with uh, the language. And um, my main concern was that uh, I had um, many repetitive repetitive tasks uh, which uh, were um, around the. Um, uh, ALV and the, the presentation layer, so it was every every time the same. And um, I, I have created the I, I call it uh, ABAP MVC, but it is not an MVC actually. Uh, it follows some principles from MVC, but um, mainly it is an ALV wrapper, which um, um, which helps you uh, create uh, ALVs. Uh, 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 out of the box, you just provide some settings and um, provide uh, the data, and it will display them. Um, so the, um, the 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 views and the, the controller settings can be handled as data and kept inside the program, such as the titles of the, you know, maybe this is this is all DABA, but uh, and will be deprecated sometime. Uh, in the future, but uh, until then, we have to make our work uh, fun. Yeah. And uh, of course, uh, following this uh, separation of concerns principle uh, with the help of uh, the MVC uh, pattern, um, I managed to separate within the above scope um, the the data um, the data handling uh, objects. So now. When I develop a program in the in in the RP, uh, all the views or the or the controlling functions are separate are completely separate from the data functions, uh, which are shared by the model um, by by model class. Uh, of course, it can be uh, an, an open SQL, but my main uh, uh, focus was uh, to create. Uh, AMDP classes, which can be, who can, which can serve as, um, as as model providers. So I'm going to share a a, a, a class, an AMDP class for with you. Um, so uh, this this class um, is. Um, it, it is it is complete. It uh, delivers a a result that can be uh, sent to anywhere. So even if the client doesn't want to, to consume uh, uh, Fiori yet and would like to stick to the ERP side, um, in the future, when sometime he will be obliged to do so, uh, the, um, the application would still be relevant. We would just uh, throw away the MVC and the, all the other uh, View and controlling uh, objects, and uh, we plug the um, the model class. We, we plug it with um, with newer uh, uh, technologies in order to expose it to uh, to, the, to the new front end. So um, here I have created some models. Um, the, the, you know, uh, in the object oriented. Uh, World, it is. Um, uh, you will have to um, define some um, uh, 
to 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 define some uh, uh, how may I say it how may I put it uh, to define some um, uh, patterns that we want to, uh, that we would want to use uh, each time and uh, you you will have some standards of your own of course you can uh, benefit from the community from clean up or, uh, or or other uh, sources and um, you will uh, this way you will you would be more productive uh, for me i have um, standardized my my coding with um, with the modeling models uh, these are my models so and each model is, is the data that the user will have to consume to see to iterate or, or etc these are the actual models uh, these are um, just helpers, helper structures which uh, help to create the models and um, uh, this is a standard um, a standard structure for me in every in basically every uh, project that I do it, it is the input and um, I have another one which was not needed here uh, input and check uh, models um, structures I'm sorry which uh, helped me to uh, have um, a better control over the input and um, and uh, checking uh, of uh, specific flags in a global scope. So this um, uh, this uh, this um, class here creates uh, has every has one uh, method for each uh, model. It creates the model, and uh, of course all all the methods that uh, are uh, are interacting with the database are uh, uh, AMDP methods, are, data, are database procedures. So they interact with the database and they provide, um, they return a, a specific uh, data set. Uh, all, the, all the methods uh, except one, which is a, a method to consume by, to, to be, to, to, to run into an ABAP environment and, and uh, handle which uh, model will be presented in a, in a dynamic way. Um, yes, I, I, I know that uh, most times dynamic uh, ABAP and, uh, and AMDP doesn't mix well, but um, don't worry here, um, uh, it is not, um, they are not mixed here, uh, we, are, we just, choose in a dynamic manner which AMDP uh, will be used. Um, let me show you the, the program as well. <clears throat> so in the start of uh, uh, in the start of selection, we, we just call the, the get data method, the, the method we saw before, this one. And, and within uh, the get data method, uh, the AMDP model that is to be used uh, is, uh, is chosen. So uh, to wrap it up, um, I will share with you some uh, links from uh, where you can find for some uh, repository links when you can find all the code that we have discussed today and uh, many, many more uh, other than that. And uh, of course, the examples that I showed you. Um, so, um, of course, ABAP. Um, has future. It is not, uh, as we said in the beginning, it is not an old language. It is evolving. So, uh, it has a great community. SAP is totally behind it. Uh, so everything that uh, you want to, uh, to to become as a developer, you can you can do it within the ABAP scope. You can uh, check out uh, all the, the great sessions about the future of ABAP uh, in this uh, in this event, um, uh, even in the TechEd, uh, in the SAP TechEd uh, uh, conference, they uh, Jürgen Müller 
told about told us about the ABAP uh, cloud and the future of ABAP. So I would be glad to to hear about uh, new people coming into into the, into our world as I came uh, three years ago, and uh, come to the, to the understanding uh, that uh, indeed ABAP is awesome. <laughs>